What is going on fam? Death here and we're back with more Outriders. In this one I want to share with y'all a good way to easily get some level experience, some world tier experience and to fill in those gaps of gear when it comes to changing a new world tier. I know a lot of us happen to have changed the world tier and enemies out of nowhere started yeeting us. This is a very easy laid back way for y'all to get some good gear so you could keep advancing your world tier in the really hard missions. What you want to do is select this particular story in the first city. You're going to want to go to the other side of the river. Once here, all the enemies are going to be fairly easy to kill. They're these little aliens pretty much for the most part. What I want y'all to do is to put this in the highest world tier possible and just go off on them. Whether you kill them little by little or you gather them all up and you yeet them. All you're going to want to do is kill these characters over and over. Now, I don't want y'all burning yourself out. Switch it up. Do all kinds of missions. But I do know that there are people that either don't have the time to grind or they might be slower when it comes to learning the game. So they might get yeeted as soon as they reach a new world tier, especially around that 8, 9, 10 and up. So this is a good way to easily get some gear as you will be able to get some good drops from these enemies epics and things of the sort and maybe if you guys are lucky from killing the boss at the end of this you might get a legendary now they are pretty much the same things i highly advise just go in and kill the bigger enemies first but overall it's all the same thing so if you have a shotgun if you have rifles if you have an easy way to deal with a big group of enemies depending on your class this is going to be one of the best ways for everybody to pretty much get some early game experience loot and world tier as we know experience is good for unlocking abilities world tier is good so we can get better loot and well loot is better so we can clap things faster so overall i highly advise y'all do this after you clear both of these rooms of enemies a boss will spawn what i advise is save your powers for when he spawns so you can take him out of the way he does hit hard but you can take him out fairly quick he's not a crazy boss he's just another one of these albino aliens once you take this guy out, you'll be completely done. There are chests in this map. There's four chests that I know of that you could pick and get some loot. If you know more, let me know in the comment section below. And if you don't know where those chests are at, let me know if you'd like to see videos regarding chest farming locations. With that being said, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe for more Outriders content, and I'll be seeing y'all on the next one. Your boy Deathgun, out.